Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is your girl Tashi, and I'm back with another video. Yes, another video. And this one is 10 mistakes to avoid when visiting Europe. Um, I've seen so many videos about things you, you do need to avoid, look out for. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more for me to learn. It's so much stuff you need to learn <laughs> when traveling to any other countries, okay? There's a lot of stuff you have to learn. You gotta do your studies, okay? You gotta do your studies before you go to another country. You gotta know the pros and the cons, okay? So that's why we all here, right? <laughs> so, and I'm quite sure some of y'all who follow me, who subscribe to my channel, y'all let me know in the comments, okay? Is there anything else I need to know? So let's get straight to the video. 10 Mistakes to Avoid When Visiting Europe Most beautiful cities in the world are located in Europe, and there are a few things you should know about them if you are planning your first vacation there. We've put up the ultimate guide to the top 10 mistakes to avoid when visiting Europe. One of the most unforgettable trips you'll ever have takes you to the Ooh. land of castles, delicious cuisine, oh national God, parks, this. and picturesque villages. If you are not properly prepared, it can, on the other hand, evolve into a nasty legend with a tragic conclusion. When traveling to Europe for the first time or returning, following these suggestions will ensure that your trip is as secure and comfortable as possible while still being epic in every way. Number 10. Keeping all of your cash in one location European cities are renowned for their beauty, but they are also notorious for pickpocketing, tourist traps, and other scams to defraud travelers. That's pretty, let me, let me clarify this. This is pretty much in every country. Every country has some scam artists or have someone try to take advantage of tourists. So keep in mind, okay? <laughs> when traveling, dividing your travel budget between your day trip bag, safe, and credit card is the most effective way to travel safely and enjoy yourself. If possible, avoid having your cash and credit card in the same place to be on the safe side. As a result, keeping your most valuable possessions in a single place is one of the travel mistakes to avoid when visiting Europe. I even do that here. <laughs> I do that here. I don't keep money and credit card in the same place. I never, I never ever do that. Number nine, European travel without packing. One of the unique aspects of Europe is that you can experience all four seasons in a single day, whether That's it's true. sunny, wet, chilly, or humid. Consequently, failing to prepare for the weather in Europe is a travel mistake that should be avoided at all costs. The following items are necessary for your journey to Europe. T-shirts, rain and wind jackets, and a pair of comfortable shoes. It's better to pack in layers and wear them throughout the day. This way, you'll be comfortable in any weather and won't have to lug about a full wardrobe. Number 8. Relying on a guidebook rather than taking advantage of free city walking tours. A guidebook is a fantastic source of inspiration for a trip to Europe and creating a basic travel itinerary for the trip. However, failing to follow your itinerary is one of the most common travel mistakes to make in Europe. It implies that you will visit the same areas as millions of other visitors and behave like a tourist. Taking a free walking tour of the city is ideal for getting to know one of Europe's most beautiful and fascinating downs. You will be shown around the city by a fluent English guide. While showing you the city's most well-known attractions, the City Walking Tour Guide will also tell you about the city's best-kept secrets and provide you with wow. a plethora of advice and trips for exploring the city. The information provided includes cuisine recommendations, fantastic prices, hidden gems, and, most importantly, staying safe. Number 7. Eating at the first restaurant you come across if you're a normal tourist, you'll stop for lunch at one of the popular fast food restaurants or at the first place you come across on your journey. You may, however, miss out on incredible eateries that serve wonderful local dishes. I've said the same thing. Sometimes, I mean, you, you go into another country, you're not trying to go to the, the, a restaurant you normally go in your own, your own country. You want to try different food. That's the point of going on a vacation and going to another country. To experience the culture, the food, the music, everything, the people, just everything. So why would I want to go to, I don't know, McDonald's? But then again, I heard McDonald's uh, tastes way different in, the, in, in the Europe. But I won't, that wouldn't be the first place to go though. <laughs> 
I'll probably do that later on, but not, that's not the first place I'll go, but yeah. <laughs> and have breathtaking views that will take your breath away. <laughs> Investing a small amount of time in advance of your trip to conduct research will reward you with an outstanding gastronomic experience. Mm, yeah. In addition to sampling delectable cuisine, you could save a few pennies by not splurging on the first place you come across. Great coffee, pastries, local food, and fantastic dishes at very low prices may all be found within walking distance. Number 6. Staying in the wrong neighborhood When it comes to planning the perfect trip in Europe, location is one of the most critical considerations. When traveling in Europe, it is important to avoid making the mistake of not conducting your homework on the best section of town, neighborhood, or hamlet to stay in. Choose the location of your accommodation carefully. Choosing to stay in the incorrect area of town might cost you in terms of journey, time, traffic, expense and overall safety and security yeah you definitely have to know where you're going exactly where you're going sometimes it's even good to go places with a group of people just you know but if you're traveling by yourself you definitely yeah you have to be very careful i, I mean i don't even need him to tell me that because if i'm traveling i'm not gonna travel by myself or if i do it better be somebody that i know okay like if i go to england I have family over there, so I can always stay with family. <laughs> but if I'm going to another country that I don't have family, I don't know nobody, I'll probably uh, go with somebody. I don't know if I, I don't think I would go alone. So yeah. <laughs> but if I do, I'll probably stay in the resort somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, gotta be careful. Number five, money exchange at an airport. Traveling to a different nation can be stressful, especially if you are unfamiliar with the language or have difficulty navigating the city. Managing your finances and foreign currencies can be a stressful experience. While exchanging money at the airport is convenient and trustworthy, it is one of the most common travel mistakes people make when traveling in Europe. Mm. Because of the fees you'll have to pay and the expense of exchanging money, it's wise to complete your research online before going to an exchange oh. point. Additionally, you may always inquire at the front desk of your hotel and they will be pleased to recommend reputable money exchange offices in the neighborhood okay. it is recommended that you exchange enough money to get you to and from the airport and enough money to last you for the first one to two days of your trip okay mm. number four choosing not one. to purchase tickets in advance europe is prohibitively pricey even if you travel to the most affordable destinations, visiting museums and other attractions will cost you a huge amount. Making the error of not purchasing tickets in advance is one of the most common mistakes when traveling through Europe, as evidenced by the millions of travelers who visit the continent each year. As a result, if you do your research and book in advance, you can get excellent prices on Europe's most famous landmarks, attractions, and activities. Sometimes, you can get really good bargains just by ordering your tickets online. And doing so saves you a lot of time on your vacation, which is invaluable. Furthermore, if this is your first visit to Europe, you should be prepared to wait in large lines at checkpoints. In other words, booking transport and attraction tickets online will prevent you from having to stand in the pouring rain or on hot summer days and will give you more time to see that scenic overlook and picnic spot. Number 3. Failure to obtain travel insurance The answer is yes, European cities are some of the most developed and safest places on the planet. The cliffs in Europe's national parks are steep and brutal, and you must remember that you are still a human being. The most experienced hiker and tourist can still become sick, or have their ankle twisted, or their camera can be stolen while out on the trail or traveling. Travel insurance in Europe is necessary for various reasons, including mm. health and other concerns. It would help not to skimp on purchasing travel insurance while traveling in Europe since it is an absolute must. When All right, so I see I never thought of this one. Uh, this is good to know. This is good information right here. Traveling to Europe, you should avoid making the mistake of not purchasing travel insurance because it can end up costing you a small fortune. Okay. Number two, choosing not to take public transportation. When you hear the phrase public transportation, one of the first things that come to mind are packed buses, long lines, and traffic. However, public transportation in Europe includes more than just buses, trams, and trains. Some travelers prefer to rent a car rather than public transportation. However, public transportation in Europe is extremely comfortable. I'd rather 
rather rent a car if I go to another country. I'll probably rent a car, but knowing me, I probably won't because <laughs> I don't know how to drive in these countries. So I already know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to avoid that. Well, <laughs> punctual and inexpensive, and it is highly recommended. Trains make it possible to travel to the most isolated corners of Europe and incredible nature reserves, castles, and spectacular views. There is no better way to travel around Europe than by train. It is the yes. most efficient and cost-effective mode I'm of transportation. Doing this, yeah. Number one, failure to travel to small towns and off the beaten path destinations. If I'm gonna cut the video, but I always say I wanna go to small towns. I don't think I wanna go where everybody else is going. I don't. I, yeah, I said it so many times. I don't do crowd too well. So if I travel somewhere, I would like to go like small towns, you know, and just, just be alone sometime and just relax. Like I want to relax. That's what it is. I don't want to go so I don't want to go somewhere where it's like fast pace. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> this is your first vacation to Europe. You will almost certainly be visiting the destinations that everyone has been raving about. If, on the other hand, you want to learn something unique about Europe, then skipping tiny villages and well-known cities is one of the travel mistakes to avoid when visiting Europe. It'll help if you plan your journey to some of Europe's most memorable off-the-beaten-path destinations as soon as possible. Yes. Of course, if you want to view and take the same pictures as the other millions of tourists who are swarming the streets of Paris, Milan, and Prague, no. you should follow the throng and do what they do. In contrast, if you have the wanderlust in your soul and are hunting for those undiscovered treasures, then arrange your journey around the little and distinct communities of Europe. I want to do that right there. To summarize, there are are plenty of excellent spots to discover around Europe. You can plan a fantastic weekend getaway or a lengthy European vacation. The options are virtually limitless. However, when traveling to a foreign country, the game's rules differ from one country to the next, Ooh. depending on where you are. Tourists make the I same mistakes cold. repeatedly, <laughs> and this is the only thing that hasn't changed. Our list of the top 10 travel mistakes to avoid when visiting Europe will keep you safe while making your vacation truly memorable. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Please don't. See, I told y'all, you, you learn every day. I told you, you learn every day. That whole travel insurance thing, I never thought of. I'm definitely gonna look into that. But anyway, this was fun, and uh, um, everybody should be watching this and learn from this. But um, if um, uh, yeah. <laughs> check these videos out. I was about to say something, but check these videos out. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you, lovely people. Take care. Be safe if you plan to travel. Peace.